So you're looking for some fun games to play with your kiddos or as a family, but you're looking to not break the bank. Well, today's video is for you guys because we're going to be sharing 20 different games that you can play for $20 or less. This is all retail price of $20 or less. So sales are going to make it even cheaper for you. And I can't wait to share with you guys what we have. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos. And on this channel, we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. Today, we are going to be starting out with the younger games and moving to the older ones. Just because it falls in the category of a younger kid game does not mean it's just for younger kids, but I do wanna make sure I help you guys out with knowing what ages these might be good for. The first game is Spot It. Now there are a million different variations of this game, but this is a great one for all ages of kids. You simply pull out two cards and your child is going to try and spot what one picture is on both of these cards. Now what's fun about this is in the directions, there are actually multiple ways you can play this game and lots of variation. So this is a great one and comes in usually under $10. Next up is charades for kids. Now charades for kids, this is perfect because this is your typical charades game. We're gonna be acting out clues, trying to get people to guess what they are. But because this one is made for kids, your kids can play it as early, they say four, but I would say even sometimes a little bit earlier, depending on your child. The reason for this is their specialty card. So on each card, there are three clues. You're going to roll the dice. You're going to pick whatever one that correlates with that dice number. That's what you're going to act out. Unless you have a non-reader, then every single card has a picture on the top that is easily understandable by kids. And so instead of rolling, they are just going to pick up the card, look at the picture and act that out to get people to guess their clue. Next up is Quick Pucks. Now this is a beloved one and as you can tell, it's all kind of thrown in there. So let me explain it to you real fast. In Quick Pucks, there are two players in this game and you are going to each have a tray of pucks like this. They're easily slid around. There are two of each color and then you are going to draw a card between the two of you and see if you can race to match this pattern. So blue, red, yellow, yellow, red, green, green, right? So two blues and they're going to try and race and get that as fast as possible. My kids love this game and it has been perfect to bring along to family gatherings, especially around the holidays, because it's something that all kids can play. You don't have to have any particular reading skills or math skills in order to play and they really enjoy it. There are different difficulties as far as cards, so keep that in mind as well. Speaking of another fun non-reading game is Simon. Now there are larger versions of this game. There are also also little like travel pocket versions of this game as well. So with Simon, your child is going to see a series or a pattern of different flashing lights. So it'll start out with red and they'll see that and then they'll repeat it. But then it'll be like red, yellow, green. So then they'll press red, yellow, green. Then it'll go red, yellow, green, blue, green, yellow, red. And it'll keep getting harder and harder. And they see how long they can keep the pattern going. My kids love this. What I love about it is it has a sound version on and a sound version off. So they love to play this one in the car. There are no little pieces whatsoever, um, but you wanna make sure that the sounds are off if you're driving because just trust me on that one. Another great one for younger kiddos is hot potato. I'm gonna insert a picture here because I can't find our hot potato. But essentially what it is is your traditional game of hot potato. You're gonna be passing this, but what it is is a fun little potato that has the song inside of the potato. There's a little voice box, you squeeze it and it'll start the timer and you're tossing the potato back and forth. And then whoever the song stops on, that's the person that's out. What I like about this is it doesn't require anyone to be DJing. Um, the kids can play it themselves. The little ones absolutely love this. And it's something that all ages can play. And that's what I'm looking for because my kids range in age from 13 down to four. So anything that brings the whole family together is always a fun one. Before I move into my next set of games, I wanna let you guys know this is actually a collaboration. I am joining in with lots of other homeschool mamas. Down in the comments, you will see a playlist that has a lot of different game ideas, favorite board games for a large family, favorite games that have very little mess or quick to play. Lots of different options for you guys, so be sure to check that out once this video is done. Next up is probably an oldie but a goodie, you're probably already familiar with it, but just in case you're not, is Phase 10. Now there is a card game of Phase 10 as well, 
well as a dice game of phase 10. I like the dice one, again, less pieces to be lost, but essentially you are going to seek to roll the dice or have the cards and make certain patterns. So some of them might be five cards of one color, or one might be getting different ones in numerical order. And this is a great one and a fun one for all ages to join in on as well. This is a current favorite in my home right now among my middle schoolers, and this is Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. This one is a fun card game where you are seeking to get a match with what you are saying as well as what's on the card. It's very tricky and it goes very, very quickly and it, it's guaranteed to end in lots of laughter. So definitely a good one. I've also seen they have several versions of this, including one that throws in a unicorn. I think there's a Christmas version. So this is a great one for stocking stuffers if you're looking for an idea. The game. This is actually one of my husband and I's favorite games because it is truly two player. There are a lot of games out there that say they're for two players, but honestly, as you play with it, you realize it's not that much fun. This one is designed to only be two players and can be a lot of fun. Essentially, you're going to have two different stacks of cards and you are going to have, you're going to have four different stacks of cards, two that are starting at zero and working their way up to a hundred and two that are starting at a hundred and working your way down to zero. You are going to have cards that are handed to you or that are dealt to you. And you're going to have to place them in those piles and taking terms back and forth. The thing is, is that you have to make sure that you don't mess up too much. You don't want to stick 99 on the zero because you can't go back down. Well, there are a few exceptions, but I won't get into all of that in this game. Just know this one is a fun one. It'll have you thinking just a little bit when it comes to those numbers, but it's also a great one to play with your kids. It helps to reinforce numerical order with your children. Trash Pandas is a, another favorite in our family. My daughter got this several years ago and has been absolutely loving it. Essentially, you are a trash panda, which is a raccoon, and you are trying to gather as much trash as possible within the cards. As you get more cards, they give you more access Actions, but if you get too greedy and you start focusing on getting too many, you could end up losing it all. This one is a really fun, fast paced game, card game for you that I'm sure your family will love. Next up is one that my boys are really loving right now, and that is Dragonwood, a game of dice and daring. This is a card dice game combined. And the way it works is you're going to collect these adventurer cards, and these are going to help you defeat the different things that you find in Dragonwood. It might be goblins, it might be fire breathing dragons but you're going to collect these adventurers and with each set of adventurers you're going to get a different set of dice which you will roll to see if you defeat the different monsters that you come upon in the woods. My boys really are enjoying this one and play this all the time with their friends. Speaking of my boys, one of my oldest absolutely loves this one from Think Fun. It's called Cat Crimes. It is a deductive reasoning, a logic game and the way it is set up is that you will have a crime scene of something that cats have done. So keep that in mind. Um, but a fun crime scene and you're going to get different clues to tell you who was at the table or who was at the scene and where were they and you're physically going to move these cats and their names you're going to physically move them around the board to match the clues that are given and try and use your deductive reasoning to figure out who was not present and who was therefore the cat criminal this one is really fun and it is fantastic for educational purposes and I highly recommend it next up is king domino this one is a really fun one again we've had it for many years it's had a lot of wear and tear on the box, but it's still a classic and a favorite. King Dominoes is really fun because every time you play it, it looks a little bit different because you're building the board as you go. You're using domino type features to match up different supplies to build out your game and earning different points. There's actually a lot of multiplication and math involved in this game. You can help your kiddos out and therefore play it with any age, or it can be great as your kids are learning their multiplication facts to work on practicing and reinforcing those skills. Another favorite one, although I haven't played it, and but my kids absolutely love it, is Bang. There is a dice version of this game and then there is a card version. We have both, but this one is the card one. And with this, you've got a bunch of outlaws, you've got a sheriff, and you've got renegades. And you are kind of competing, playing your cards, trying to either help yourself move forward in the game or to eliminate other characters. At the end, you find out whether the good guys or the bad guys won this time around. This is a really fun one and it works for four to seven players, so it's great for larger groups. Next up is Sushi Go. This card game is really fun to play with your kiddos. It is a quick, fast paced game where you are trying to mash up where you're trying to match up different kinds of sushi. You're trying to get as many points as physically possible without losing all of the points. And um, there's just, again, a lot of math involved in this one, but one where your kids won't even realize that they're doing math. Next up is another quick playing game called Quicks. 
This dice game, you are going to try to get as many numbers off your board as possible without getting penalty points. This is a nice one that can be played in 15 minutes or less. So if you're looking for a quick game to be played right before bed, or again, to take to family gatherings around the holidays, this is a great one. Another favorite is Forbidden Island. Forbidden Island is another game where every time you play, the board game is a little bit different. You will have a series of four treasures that you are trying to retrieve, but quickly because parts of the island are starting to be flipped over or they're starting to sink essentially. And you have to make sure that you can get there, get your item and get back off the island in time. This is a great beginning strategy game for you and your kiddos. This is probably one of my husband's favorite games right now. It's a perfect party game for the holidays and it's Unstable Unicorns. You have these fun unicorn cards. Some are unicorns themselves. Some are abilities for your unicorns. And you are trying to get, I believe it's seven unicorns in order to win the game. So you've got unicorns in your stable. You've got these cards that you're playing to try and collect others unicorns or to destroy another person's unicorns. It is a really fun game um, that you'll enjoy both as adults and for kids. Of course, Scattergories is a classic, but one that if you do not have in your arsenal, you definitely need to grab. Scattergories is easily played by rolling the dice and you will get a letter. You will then have to answer a list of questions with answers that start with that letter. So for instance, if you have an item of clothing and you get the letter S, you're going to say shirt. And then the next question is going to say some kind of dessert and you're gonna say sorbet and all of these things. And this is a really fun one, not only for large groups of people, but also for educational purposes and working on those different skills. Now, bringing us to our final one, I could not go without sharing with you guys the best budget game that you can get for you and your kiddos is simply a deck of cards or a collection of dice. You can find these usually at your local Dollar Tree and there are an infinite amount of possibilities that you can utilize these for. I'm gonna leave a link down below with some printables that give you ideas of all the different kinds of card games you can play. We actually did this one year for like Sunday school teachers or neighbors and we put together a deck of cards and a grouping of dice and then printed off off a list of different games that they could play, package it up, and it was a cute, fun little gift for them to enjoy. If you guys would like to learn more about some of the budget things you can do, you can check out my stockings video, went to my kids' stockings video, and be sure to check out the playlist down below of all the other mamas sharing their favorite board games. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.